The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Eric Colby for BoatTest.com. Today we're going to be conducting a full inspection and performance evaluation on the flagship of Ranger's Bass Boat Series, the Z520C. So let's check her out. At 20 feet 9 inches long with a 7 foot 11 inch beam, the Z520C is one of the biggest bass boats Ranger builds. Our test boat was powered by an Evinrude E-Tech G2 250HO outboard and had an estimated test weight of 2,483 pounds. Bass boats are known for speed, so let's get right to the numbers. Turning a 14.5 inch by 26 inch Raker HO 3 blade stainless steel prop through a 1.85 to 1 gear ratio, we hit a top speed of 71.7 miles per hour at 5700 RPM and burned 22.1 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 131 miles at wide open throttle. Best cruise came at 3000 RPM where we ran 32.5 miles per hour and the E-Tech G2 250HO burned 6.5 gallons per hour, giving the boat a range of 203 statute miles. That works out to be 5 miles per gallon, making the Evinrude E-Tech G2 250HO quite fuel efficient. I felt the torque of the direct injected Evinrude outboard in acceleration tests. The Ranger planed in 3.8 seconds and ran out to 20 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds and to 30 miles an hour in 7.1 seconds. Remember that this is a boat propped for top speed. The Z520C is one of those boats I just want to keep driving. The more time I spent behind the wheel, the more comfortable the boat felt. She tracked cleanly through every turn I put it through and felt stable even when trimmed out at 70 miles per hour. Like all boats powered by an Evinrude E-Tech G2, it had eye trim, an automatic trim system that trims the motor based on engine RPM to ensure optimal performance. The eye trim system was complemented with the Evinrude Icon touchscreen display. Offered in three different sizes, the display lets users program unique features of the Evinrude engine like eye trim and dynamic power steering, along with traditional display functionality. Taking a look at the boat's construction, Ranger fabricates the Z520C's transom support using a process called pultrusion. Wet fiberglass is pulled through a die and thermal cured to create an engineered composite structure that forms the boat's transom. Ranger says the structure is stronger than steel and that it bonds to fiberglass better because it's basically made from the same material. The Z520C's helm pod has an acrylic windshield with a raised lip to deflect air, but at speeds above 40 miles per hour, my eyes watered to the point that I had to wear sunglasses to drive. At the Z520C's helm, there are push-button style accessory switches and columns on each side of the panel. To the left of the tilt wheel are a large speedometer with an integrated trim indicator in the bottom and a fuel gauge. This lever on the steering column controls the jack plate, and in the center of the aluminum dash is the optional Garmin Fish Finder chart plotter. To starboard are the tachometer, Evinrude icon display, and more switches including the ignition and start buttons. The digital shift and throttle control is mounted to the driver's right. Down low is the switch to fill and empty the live well, and just ahead is a 12-volt power plug. The driver's seat adjusts fore and aft, and if the going gets bumpy, the captain can brace against these angled footrests. In between the driver's and passenger seats, this step is covered in rubber to improve traction. The locking hatch opens with a gas strut and has a full piano hinge for durability. The locker is lined with foam to cushion the contents. To port, the passenger rides in another thickly padded bucket seat with quality upholstery and heavy duty stitching. Outboard to port is this substantial grab handle and beneath the front of the seat is another grab strap that provides security. Outboard of the passenger's feet are a cup holder and a small storage compartment. Above is tackle storage that extends aft with a strap to secure fishing rods when underway. Ahead of the passenger seat are angled footrests with this hatch that opens another locker that Ranger suggests owners use for trash. The flooring in the main seating area is finished in this material that feels good underfoot. As we transition forward to the Z520C's bow area, we find this net storage slot in the base of the step. In this step is a draining insulated cooler. Outboard on each side are tool racks and a ruler for measuring the day's catch that stores in a dedicated slot. All the way forward in the bow are a Minn Kota trolling motor with foot control, the optional Garmin fish finder, accessory switches, the Hydro Wave Sonic fish attractor, a cup holder, and a tool rack. To accommodate shorter and taller anglers, the bow seat has two installation points. These built-in retractable straps help secure rods to the deck during a quick trip to the next fishing spot. To keep fishing lines from snagging, Ranger smartly uses pull-up cleats and recessed navigation lights. A big bass boat is expected to have lots of storage and the Z520C delivers. This locker outboard to port can accommodate rods up to 8.5 feet long. 
The hatch closes on a thick rubber gasket, opens on a gas strut, and is lockable. This large hatch opens on two gas struts to reveal the primary fishing rod storage on the boat. It has dedicated slots for at least 10 rods with a maximum length of 8 feet. The starboard locker in the bow has two carpeted compartments. Moving to the aft fishing area, there's a receptacle for a pedestal seat, and with it removed, there's plenty of space for fighting a fish. Taking a look beneath the hatches in the aft deck, front and center is the 31-gallon live well that has two compartments with acrylic hatches, a divider, and quick fill capability. Outboard to port, this locker has a toolbox, and there's a similar locker to starboard. Note that both train. Directly behind the live well, this large hatch opens to access the batteries and charger. In the aft starboard corner, Ranger provides these posts for jump-starting the motor with the trolling batteries, and owners get a mount for a spare propeller. On the underside of the battery access hatch, there's a wiring diagram for the batteries on the right side and a full schematic on the left. At the end of the day, the Z520C can be driven right onto its matched custom trailer, complete with fenders, a spare tire, and disc brakes as just few of the features. The turnkey package is ready to head to the next lake. That wraps up our test of the Ranger Z520C. For BoatTest.com, I'm Eric Colby.